Christmas time is coming and if you're like me, you love Christmas decorations and everything to do with Christmas. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make some fake Christmas lollipops and candies that you can put on a tree, you can put on display or a wreath. The options are endless. Now you may be sitting there thinking, what would I possibly need fake ones for when I can just use real ones? But let me tell you, we recently had an ant infestation in my kitchen and I certainly don't want to be cleaning that up over Christmas. If you use fake ones, you can put them on your tree. You don't have to worry about them getting covered in ants or bugs or anything like that. And they are so simple to make and you can go ahead and eat the other ones. And so as I said, today I'm going to be showing you how to make those and we're starting right now. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am that props girl and I am all about helping non-professional theater makers, props designers, hobby crafters and decorators create unique props and decor on a budget. And as I said today, we're gonna to be kicking off week three of my Christmas decor series and we're gonna be making some lollipops and candies. And these are so cute and I really loved how they turned out. So if you are keen to see that, then stick around. Be sure to hit the like button because it lets me know that you wanna see more content like this as well as consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell next the subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my uploads. Now for this craft I'm going to be using air drying clay and some acrylic paint. This is honestly so simple and if you saw my video last week on how I made fake candy canes this is pretty much the same sort of thing. For the lollipops I'm going to get some little sticks. Now you can use skewers or you can use short pieces of dowel and you could also use paddle pop sticks. The options are really pretty endless there. And so step number one, I'm gonna take my air drying clay for both of these and I'm gonna roll them into little balls. You can make these an exact size if you want, totally up to you. For the lollipops, I'm gonna just make that ball and then I'm gonna get my skewer slash stick and I'm actually just gonna stab it in the middle and then I'm just gonna pat it in between to just flatten it out. Now you can make this a lot more perfect with a rolling pin if you like, totally up to you. And for the other candies, there's no need to put the stick in, so we're just gonna pat them out flat. If you wanna make them a bit more precise, you could also use a cutter that you would use for cookies as well. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to smash the like button as it lets me know that you wanna see more content like this, as well as hit that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss a single one of my uploads. And let me know down below if you really like the taste of peppermint at Christmas. I've always thought it's a bit of a strange one, but hey. Is it Christmas without peppermint? Let me know. You have peppermint candy canes, peppermint lollipops, peppermint lollies, it's just everywhere. What is it about peppermint and Christmas? Once those are dry, and this can take a couple of days depending on where you are in the world, so just read the back of your air drying clay to see how long the approximate time is. I'm going to then go in with some paint. Now I used this as a reference picture for what I was going to paint them as, and I just literally went in with a paintbrush and just kind of did my own thing. You can really do whatever you want here. If you want that classic design, I would suggest looking up some pictures on Pinterest or you can copy mine if you like. Once they were dry, I also went in with some cellophane. Now this step is optional, but I think it really added something extra. I cut a piece of cellophane and then I folded it in half. I got a really thin piece of silver string or ribbon and I just tied it around in a little bow. Now I can't tie bows very well, but I still think they looked awesome. And I think they look fantastic all together.
I went a little bit crazy with my painting, so you don't have to go as out there as I did, but I still love how they turned out. And if you wanted to hang these on a tree, you could just get another piece of that string and tape it to the back of it. I found that if I went in with just some clear tape first and then tied the bow, it was much easier to keep the cellophane together. I did the same thing with the little candies as well, where I just wrapped them in cellophane, put some tape on the ends, and then tied little bows. And I think that they turned out just fine. But let me know what you think in the comments. Another short little Christmas craft for you, which is super fun to do with kids, and they look fantastic. I really love how they look on the tree. I think it is so cute. But as I said, let me know in the comments what you think and if you're gonna give this craft a try. I really like the idea of putting fake foods on a tree and I'm actually going to be doing a fake food Christmas tree coming up. So if you are keen to see that, be sure to smash the subscribe button and the bell next to subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my uploads. I'm also, as you can see, in the process of decorating for Christmas and I'm gonna do a full house tour and reveal very soon. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and comment down below if you're gonna use this craft at all this Christmas. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.